Now, if you're a sci-fi fan, you've probably heard of warp drive from classics like Star Trek. But what exactly is warp drive? First off, the idea of warp drive was introduced by John W. Campbell in his 1957 novel, Islands of Space. The closest real-life equivalent to the warp drive is the Alcubierre drive, a theoretical solution to the equations of general relativity. Proposed by physicist Miguel Alcubierre in 1994, this concept suggests that space-time can be distorted to allow a spacecraft to travel faster than the speed of light. A warp drive works by creating a warp bubble that contracts space-time in front of a spacecraft and expands it behind. This bubble moves through space, carrying the spacecraft with it and allowing it to exceed the speed of light. Now, you might wonder, why not just use a jump drive or hyperspace? Well, unlike those concepts, warp drive involves a measurable passage of time. You don't instantly teleport from one point to another. Instead, you still travel through space, interacting with objects in normal space. This means we could potentially navigate around obstacles, avoiding the need for blind jumps into the unknown. According to Einstein's theory of special relativity, traveling at the speed of light is impossible for objects with mass. The core issue is that an infinite amount of kinetic energy would be required to reach, let alone exceed, light speed. Critics argue that the concept of space warp is illogical and akin to other speculative ideas like anti-gravity or negative mass. However, proponents suggest that although faster-than-light travel isn't possible, space and time could warp to allow travel over vast distances more efficiently. This warping is mathematically described by the Lorentz factor, which changes with velocity. Essentially, while you can't travel faster than light, the effective speed through warped space-time could be greater than light speed. In 2021, a groundbreaking claim emerged from DARPA funded a researcher Harold White. He asserted that his team had successfully created a real warp bubble on a nanoscale, a significant step forward from theoretical models. In our exploration of warp drives, one crucial element often comes into play that is exotic matter. But what exactly is exotic matter, and how could it potentially make warp drives a reality? There are several proposed types of exotic matter. These are hypothetical particles and states of matter that have not yet been encountered, but whose properties would be within the realm of mainstream physics if found to exist. Some particles, whose existence has been experimentally confirmed, are conjectured to be exotic hadrons and fit within the standard model of particle physics. In addition, there are states of matter that are not commonly encountered. These include Bose-Einstein condensates, fermionic condensates, nuclear matter, quantum spin liquid, string net liquid, supercritical fluid, color glass condensate, quark gluon plasma, Rydberg matter, Rydberg polaron, photonic matter, Wigner crystal, and time crystal. Despite their rarity, the properties of these states are entirely within the realm of mainstream physics. Moreover, there are forms of matter that are poorly understood, such as dark matter and mirror matter. These mysterious substances could hold the key to new forms of energy and propulsion. Ordinary matter, when placed under high pressure, may also result in dramatic changes in its physical or chemical properties, potentially leading to the creation of degenerate matter. Exotic atoms, which are atoms containing particles other than protons, neutrons, and electrons, also fall under this intriguing category. Like the negative mass, it defies our everyday experiences and challenges our understanding of normal matter. Yet, negative mass is mathematically consistent and does not violate the principles of conservation of momentum or energy. One of the closest real-world phenomena resembling negative mass is the region of pseudo-negative pressure density produced by the Casimir effect. This effect arises in quantum field theory when two uncharged parallel plates are placed extremely close together in a vacuum, creating a difference in pressure that can be thought of as negative in a sense. Will warp drive ever be possible? One of the most promising efforts comes from the work of Dr. Harold Sonny White at NASA's EagleWorks Laboratory. Dr. White's research has led to the development of the concept of a warp field interferometer, an experiment designed to detect tiny distortions in space-time, essentially small-scale warp bubbles. Moreover, the discovery of metamaterials engineered materials with properties not found in nature could potentially be used to create the exotic matter required for warp drives. 
Organizations like the European Space Agency and private companies such as SpaceX are investing in advanced propulsion technologies. Beyond the tantalizing possibility of warp drives, scientists are investigating a myriad of other innovative propulsion methods that could revolutionize our journey through the cosmos. One promising avenue is the development of ion propulsion systems. Unlike traditional chemical rockets, ion thrusters use electric fields to accelerate ions, producing a gentle but continuous thrust. This technology is already being used in missions like NASA's Dawn spacecraft, which explored the asteroid belt. Another exciting prospect is the concept of solar sails. These sails harness the pressure of sunlight to propel spacecraft, much like how wind propels a sailboat. The Planetary Society's Light Sail project has demonstrated the potential of this technology with successful test flights in Earth's orbit. Moreover, nuclear propulsion is gaining renewed interest. By utilizing nuclear reactions, these engines could provide a much higher thrust than current chemical rockets, significantly reducing travel time to distant destinations. NASA's Kilo Power Project is exploring small nuclear reactors that could power future missions to Mars and beyond. Finally, the idea of antimatter propulsion, though still in the realm of science fiction, holds immense potential. Antimatter matter annihilation releases vast amounts of energy, which could theoretically be harnessed to achieve incredible speeds. In conclusion, nobody knows what's next.